Hi everyone, welcome back to another video in this RPG series. Over the next three videos we're going to be creating a playable character for our game. In this video we're going to be designing our character and creating some animations for it. In the next video we're going to be preparing our character and animations to be imported into Lumberyard. This is surprisingly quite tricky. In the last episode of these three part videos we're going to be importing the character with its animations into Lumberyard and getting it to move with the W, A, S and D keys. Without further ado, let's get on with this video. To create our character, we're going to be using a software called Adobe Fuse. You can get it for free from the Adobe Creative Cloud App Store. However, if you don't want to create your character with Fuse, then you can use a free model from a website called Mixamo. We will be using Mixamo later in the video for creating the animations for our character that we will have created in Adobe Fuse. Here are a few examples of the characters you can use from the Mixamo website. If you want to use one of these models, then skip ahead to this section of the video. I will leave a timestamp in the centre of the screen just here. OK, so now onto modelling our character in Adobe Fuse. Once you've downloaded Adobe Fuse and you've opened it, the first thing you want to do is go to Edit, Preferences, and you want to tick the box to allow for high clothing textures. You then want to go ahead and click on OK. OK, so we're now going to create our character. I'd recommend that you use the uh, scanned things as these haven't been modelled, they've actually scanned someone so it's potentially going to be more accurate than the modelled ones. So I'm going to go ahead and choose male scan one, uh, but you could choose whichever one you want. Um, give it a few seconds to load up, it might be potentially slow depending on how fast your computer is. You then want to go ahead and choose a torso, I'm just going to go with male scan one again. but. I Again, you could choose whichever one you want. I'm then just going to go with uh, male fitte. And then I'm just going to go with male scan one. Once you've chosen the parts for your character, you want to go ahead and click on customize. From this panel, you can customize every major muscle in the arms, face, legs, and even the teeth. I'm not going to go ahead and change any of these, however you can if you want to. Um, now after you have customised the muscles you want, you want to go ahead and click on the clothing section tab. Adobe gives you quite a lot of clothes to start off with, but if you want more, I'd recommend that you go to this website here. I will leave a link for this in the description. This website has a range of clothing that you can use on your character. They are quite often having sales, which is good, so potentially you might want to be using one of these for your character. Okay, so heading back to Fuse, uh, you want to customise your character with the clothing you want. So I'm going to give my character a blazer. And then I'm going to give him just some nice trousers with... What shoe should I give him? I'm going to give him... Firefighter boots. Actually, no, that doesn't seem to be working that well with the textures, so I'm going to choose something a bit more subtle. I'm just going to give him some normal trainers. Lovely. That, that's good enough for me. Once we've finished creating our character, we're going to be sending it to a free service called Mixamo, where we'll be animating it. Once you've finished clothing your character, we're going to be moving on to the last section in Adobe Fuse, texturing. In this section you can essentially choose any part of clothing and change all of its properties of its texture. So for example if we click on the jacket you can go ahead and actually change how it looks and you could change it down to the finest detail. However I'm not going to do this as I really like the look of this basic like schoolboy character. Once you've finished changing the textures you want to save this just in case you ever want to come back in the future and edit it. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to name mine just uh, man. And then you just want to go ahead and click on save. Lovely, we've now saved our character. We're now going to click on this button up here that says send to Maximo. Once we click it, it's going to ask us to name our character. I'm just going to name our mine man tut. And then you want to go ahead and click on save. It is now going to export our model. I'll be back as soon as it's done. So once your character is finished exporting from Adobe Fuse, you'll have noticed that your browser would have opened in the Mixamo website. 
Your character will first be rigged, which may take a few minutes, and then you'll be presented with a screen very similar to this. You want to go ahead and click on Enable Facial Blends, and then you can leave the skeleton LOD as it is. You then want to go ahead and click on Update Rig. This might take a bit of time. Okay, so we now want to go ahead and click on the Finish button. And as you see, it has popped up with uh, two options for us. We can either go ahead and download our character or we can animate it. We're going to go ahead and click on Animate. And it has now presented us with a load of different animations for our character. Okay, so the first thing that we want to do is to create a walking animation for our character. So if we go ahead and search for walking, you get given a wide range of animations that represent walking for that you could use for your character. I'm going to go ahead and choose this one. I am happy with how it looks. You can customize a few other settings here about your animation. You can um, extend how long it takes and how um, fast it's happening. So once you've customized it and you've chosen an animation you like, you want to go ahead and click on download. You then want to go ahead and make sure it's an FBX format. You then want to go ahead and choose a skin without a skin. You then want to make sure the frames per second is 60 and the keyframe reduction can be none. You then want to go ahead and click on download. This will now download. Give it a second. And then you want to go ahead and save it in preferably the same directory as where you saved your Adobe Fuse file. Okay, so we now need to find an idle animation. So if we go ahead and search up here for idle, we then get given another wide range of animations that we could potentially use. I'm going to have a quick look around. I'm going to use... I'm going to go ahead and use this one. However, you can choose whichever one you like. You then want to go ahead and click on download again. And the same things apply. Make sure it's FBX format. Make sure it's without a skin, with 60 frames per second, and no keyframe reduction. You then want to go ahead and click on download. And remember to save it in the same place as where you saved your Adobe Fuse file. Okay, so we now need to download our character as an FBX. You don't want to download it through Adobe Fuse, as when you export it, it exports without a skeleton, which is not what we want. We want to make sure it gets exported with a skeleton. So to do this, we can download it through Mixmo. We want to get back to the main screen, so if we go ahead and refresh the page, we get given our character as we imported it. Here we go. We then want to go ahead and click on Download, and then we want to make sure it's an FBX and a T-Pose. We then want to click on download. Again, you want to download it in the same place as where you saved your Adobe Fuse file as it just makes it a lot easier. Give it a few seconds for it to download. Okay, so that has successfully downloaded. We now want to save it again in preferably the same places where you save the animations and the Adobe Fuse file. There we go. That is all finished for the character and the animations. This brings us to the end of this part of this three-part video series inside of our RPG series. In the next video, we're going to be looking at how to prepare our characters and animations for import into Lumberyard, as this can be surprisingly quite tricky but I will be showing you exactly how to do this. I hope you've enjoyed the video and if you have, please leave us a like as it really means a lot to us and do consider subscribing. Hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye.